it is not Friday, but it's time for another DAX Fridays. This time we're going to cover the index function. So let's get started. Okay, I have quite a few window functions to cover. Um, I've already covered actually uh, window on the Windows introduction video, and then I've covered offset also. Uh, now it's time for index. The way I see the difference between them is like this. So for index, you'll see today that it gives you the row that you specify. For offset, you specify a row and then it will give you like the row above or below one step or two steps. So it goes and moves rows up and down. And for the window function, it just gives you a bunch of rows and then you can do calculations on those rows. Okay, so index, when I thought about it, uh, to me, it's like a little bit like top end. So I automatically thought about 25 days of tax Fridays. A lot of the things that we do in 25 days of tax Fridays is just grab value from a specific row to return it. And if you look at the definition, it says it returns a row. That is an important thing. It does not return a value. It returns a row. And I'll show you how it does it. It's specified by a position parameter. So it's the first parameter that you add. So you say, give me the first one, or give me the last one, or give me. And then within the specified partition, partition is you say, okay, I want to have like by year, or I want to have it by category, or I want to have it by, and then how you want to order it, right? So an example always is the easiest way to explain. So let's go to 25 days of that Fridays, season one, and do some index. 25 days of DAX Fridays, in case you haven't done it, is just a DAX question every day for 25 days <laughs> to learn DAX. And this is season one. On day two of season one, we ask which product is the most expensive? We're using the Northwind data set. And if we go to day two, this is how it looked. So it was actually a very simple calculation. It was uh, top M and the first of the top n, and then we got the product table, and then we did the, the unit price descending. And then we pick from that table that was returned the product name that was top one. I have actually a video on that. I'm going to post it here so you can review it if you want to. But how would that calculation look if we would use the index? So we're going to, we're actually going to start with showing what index does. I think it's an easier table. So even if it is, it returns a one row table, I guess, because you can actually put it here and this is just for table. So index, and we're going to do shift enter, and then you're going to put index. The first one, if you remember, was the position. So we want to have, what was it? The highest, I forgot, the most expensive product. Okay, cool. So we go to index, the most expensive one what product. So we're going to put the product table and then the next one is ordered by. Now, since um, April last month, 2023, you can now use order by with a measure. How wonderful. So now you can just put here unit price. Um, that is the uh, the measure. You couldn't do that before. So make sure that you have the latest version of Power BI Desktop. And if you enter, you see that it gives you the entire product table where the unit price, this is descending. We want to have the most expensive, not the cheapest one. So we need to actually go in here and put descending. Right? So now we have the most expensive, which is called the player. Sorry, French people. <laughs> So instead of having the entire product's row return, you could have the uh, all selected product, product name, and that will give you just that column in case you have a huge table, which you shouldn't have. But if you have, in case you have a huge table, you doesn't have to return everything. Now that we have these, we could actually go back in here and create a new uh, measure. 
So day two index shift enter. We're going to do calculate, and it looks like it's not going to give me any intelligence. Calculate, and then we're going to have the selected value of products product name for and then we put the index stuff right and then that is in here and you see it gives you the right answer so good now so does this mean that the top n and index are the same functions I don't know. I'm guessing no, but I really don't know. I will have to explore this index function a little bit more. Another thing that I don't know is if index is maybe more performant than top n is. I don't know. It would have to be tested with bigger tables. If you have done it or are going to do it, just let us know in the comments how the test went. So there are still a lot of unknown and a lot of questions, but we will figure them out. As I continue using this, I have actually used case for these that I haven't been able to solve elsewhere. So if it works, I'll do a video and we will do it together. So let me know what other cases you have used with index. I'm really interested. And I will showcase them here if I'm able to reproduce them. So I will see you again on the next video. See you soon.